First of all, thank you so much guys, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. It is my humble request that if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, to kindly support me by subscribing to my channel. You can also give this video a like or just press that thumbs up button down below because YouTube highly recommends videos with a lot of likes. And to my supporters, to my subscribers who are currently watching this, I just want to take this opportunity also to thank you so much guys for your continued support. Actually, I'm not and I will never take that support for granted. So feel very much welcome and thank you so much as you support me. Now, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto, is set to teach a major political lesson to none other than the white leader, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, that he will never ever forget in his entire political career. Just like the way he did to the retired President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Azimio leader, Raila Odinga. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto knows very well that the major strongholds that can support Kalonzo Musioka overwhelmingly is none other than two regions. We have the Ukambani region where he comes from and by the way, I must congratulate Kalonzo because in the previous 2022 general election, he delivered a lot of votes from the larger Ukambani region to Raila Amolo Odinga because Kalonzo delivers honestly speaking. And the second region that can support Kalonzo Musioka overwhelmingly is the Luo Nyanza region. And some of the Luos, or majority of them, including the brother to Raila Odinga, promised Kalonzo Musioka that he will not go unrewarded. And the reasons as to why they are doing this to Kalonzo Musioka is simply because of the loyalty that Kalonzo has showed towards the Azimio leader Raila Odinga. We all know that Kalonzo Musioka supported Raila Odinga for three times. In 2013, when they were in code coalition. In 2017, ladies and gentlemen, when they were in NASA coalition. And in the previous election, 2022, when they formed the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. So in this video, I just want to give you some of the strategies that William Ruto has come up with so that it can completely destroy Kalonzo Musioka, politically speaking. But before that, just a reminder that if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, kindly support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. Let us go straight into these strategies that William Ruto is unveiling. We all know that William Ruto made it very clear that immediately he won the just concluded 2022 general election. He gave a call or he made a call to none other than the wiper leader and he tried to convince him that right now I'm, I've got the government, I'm in charge, I'm the president, please come work with me. But Kalonzo Musioka refused and he decided to stay in the opposition. So William Ruto knows very well also that the fact that Kalonzo Musioka has decided to remain in the opposition because he will now be checking or he will, he will provide oversight to the ruling government, to his own government, through that side, Kalonzo Musioka can gain a lot of support also because he is one of, one of the opposition leaders there. So this is what William Ruto has done so far. Number one, William Ruto has entered the Ukampani region where Kalonzo Musioka comes from. And right now, as we speak, Kalonzo Musioka is facing Ruto's onslaught in his Ukambani backyard. William Ruto has decided to give the Ukambani region a total of six positions and he has divided into two. He has given them three cabinet secretaries and three pub, uh, principal secretaries. We have somebody like Dr. Alfred Mutua, who is in charge of foreign affairs, the CS for foreign affairs. We have somebody like Penina Malonza, who is in charge of uh, tourism, the CS for tourism. And we have none other than Monica Juma, who was retained in that position. And she was met as the national security 
uh, advisor, which is a cabinet level appointment. Those are the three CS which William Ruto has appointed from the larger Ukambani region. In other areas, William Ruto has ensured that he has appointed at least one, one, one CS. And why would William Ruto give these positions to the Ukambani region yet? They did not vote for him like the way they, like, like the way William Ruto wanted. We are going to look at that, but before that, let me just give you the names of the principal secretaries which William Ruto has appointed in that region together with their position. We have somebody like Teresia Malokwe, who is in charge of uh, cabinet affairs. The second person we have, Veronica Mweni, who is in charge of the PS for gender and affirmative action. We have the third one, we have Jonathan Mweke, who is in charge of sports and arts. The main reason that Ria Bruto is doing this to the company region so that he can convince them to rally behind him or to support him in coming 2027 general election so that he can win the arts of the campus in that region. The second strategy that William Ruto is currently using is to popularize the Uda party in the larger Ukambani region. Right now, as you speak, in the larger Ukambani region, it has only one main political party there, which is Waipa party, which has dominated for a very long period of time. And the chairman for Uda, uh, Johnson Mudama, made it very clear recently that they are going to sell the Uda party in three major ways. Number one is to convince the people of Ukambani region that Kalonzo Musioka is a very selfish politician in that region uh, and the Waipa party. The second thing, they will try and rally people towards William Ruto's government. And thirdly, they will try to reduce Waipa political uh, popularity in that region. That is what they are going to do. And I don't know if they will succeed, but that is another strategy that Dr. William Ruto is currently unveiling from that region. And thirdly, the third strategy that William Ruto is using, and the final one, is he has decided not to fight Kalonzo Musioka politically, especially in Ukambani region and in the entire Republic of Kenya. Why is William Ruto doing this? Instead of him fighting Kalonzo Musioka politically, he has decided to go for another route, which I personally know that it will work for him. He has decided to initiate several projects in the larger Okambani region and in Kenya so that he can win the hearts of the people. And this is a good strategy, by the way. And that is why, if you have noticed, the larger Okambani region majority of the leaders who are voted in through the Azimio lead, through the Azimio coalition or alliance, they have decided that they will support Dr. William Samuel Ruto and that they have defected, majority of them, they have defected from the other side and they have decided to join the government so that they can initiate several projects in those areas so that in the coming 2022, William Ruto will actually win the hearts of the people because of the projects that he has initiated. I don't know if this will work for him 100% considering that uh, politics of the Republic of Kenya are mainly considered as local. That is why we see uh, this tribe, if you have not, if you have, you have not joined a certain political party, there is a high chance that you will not make it to the next political level because politics is local and tribal. It is not majorly uh, focused on uh, the development projects. That is why we can see somebody like Honorable Gujiri Wambuku from the larger Mount Kenya region was voted out simply because he is a politician from the Jubilee Party, Kanini Kega and the rest. But they really performed, but because they did not join the older party, which was a uh, a popular party in that region, that is why they, they were voted out. So I don't really know if William Ruto decided not to fight Kalonzo politically, but he has decided to initiate these projects if 
you will get majority of voters who will look at it from that perspective. I don't know what to think. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Otherwise, I don't have much to add on. 